In order to conduct the experiments in this lab, we need a reliable source of single photons. To achieve this, we'll take advantage of nonlinear optics by sending laser light through a nonlinear crystal. When our stream of photons hits this crystal, a portion is converted into pairs of identical photons. We'll use these pairs to conduct our experiments. Our environment is constantly full of a wide array of stray photons. These photons will also trigger our sensitive single photon detectors. To combat this, we'll first place a filter on our detectors so that only the specific wavelength of light coming from our crystal is detectable. This will eliminate the effect of most of the stray photons in our system, but there will still be stray photons finding their way into our detectors. We can get around this by looking at the timing of our detector's signals. When two detections occur simultaneously, we can be fairly certain the photons detected were part of our pair. We'll label this event a coincidence. We can estimate the maximum possible value of these random coincidences occurring. If our system has more coincidences than we know possible from random chance, we can be certain that we are detecting single photons from our photon pair.